Cue the Christmas music and here we go. Let's unbox this. So we see here, right there, you're actually not supposed to do it this way. I don't know why I just did that right now. I'm excited, man. I want to open this box up. I'm doing it the wrong way. Kids, don't try that at home. Oh, I just lost this freaking coin. We wish you Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. And I'm Scotty. Welcome back, you guys. It's that time again. Christmas is upon us. This is your Christmas present. Me opening this for you guys. Forget Tyler, my son, he wanted to open this with me. I'm like, no, it's more important for me to open it up for you guys, all right? So check it out. So this is Lego City Theme Advent Calendar. 60201, 313 pieces. So for those of you who don't know, an Advent Calendar is a special kind of calendar that anticipates the day of Christmas. So every day you open one little tiny box or you know, little portion of a calendar and you take a little gift out for yourself. Fun stuff. Yeah, I haven't done this since I was a kid. Let's do it right now. Here we go. Ooh, nice box. Ooh, we flip it. You know what's cool? You know what's cool about this box? It has like a plate here. That's actually pretty cool. You can like use this for your kitty to play with. I kind of wish they hid the sets a little bit because I'm trying not to look at what's in each one. I want to surprise myself, but it's like it's revealing everywhere. It's been revealed. This is all the stuff that you're going to get on the box. And on the back here, they want you to buy more. So it's like, you have this box, you got to buy this one, this one, this one. Why? I'm Santa Claus, I go buy them myself. Lego, what are you doing to my wallet, man? Destroying my wallet. I'm going to start with number one. You want to point number one to me, kitties, together? We do this together? I can't see it from this side. I have to look here. Number one, number one is there. Here we go. Push it with me. Come on, guys. I need the force. I need your powers. Tell me to push it. Let's do it. One. Here we go. Oh. See hear the sound of that? Oh, the sound of tear. I can't even tell what it is. Put it out here. Ooh, it's in a little baggie. And what? No manual? We have to build this, we have to figure this out ourselves? For real? Durr! Hey man, I've never opened one of these Lego advent calendars before, okay? So the manual is actually printed on the box itself. Smart thinking. Okay, I'll build it right on the plate. We'll build it on the tennis court. Bag, move out of the way. Speed build time. <laughs> But well, you still have to kind of guess where these pieces go. Be harder for kids, I think. Oh, you have a lot of little spare parts? Space shuttle. Simple looking space shuttle. Spaceship looking thing. It's okay, not bad. It's fun to play with. Kids will love that. And we're gonna open number two. Oh, satisfaction. Oh, this is really fast and simple. Here we go. It's a minifigure. That's cool. All right. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. So you got the boy here. Nice printing on his jacket. I like the beanie. And he's terrified he has to spend more money for Christmas. We all do. It's time to go out and buy those presents. Let's look for number three. Number three. Ooh. That can't be too difficult. It's cool, it's got a little spoiler on here. Yeah, it is. Check that out. Despite the cart being a very simple build, I think it's actually kind of cute and it's kind of cool. And I think the spoiler and the wheels kind of make up for it. So not bad. Three so far. Let's keep going. Number four. Four. Three columns. Or two French hen. Two turtle dough. And what the heck is this? Check out this doggy. Dog looks fine, printing looks fine. He got chicken. Okay, that makes perfect sense. How big was that chicken? And why this dog? I would have preferred a deer. Number five, here we go. Number five. Johnny number five. It's alive. Okay, this one's, this one's a little bit better. We get to build. The 
sled by far has to be one of the worst looking ones for the set just because it's so simple but mm, and it comes with a, another ramp here it's like a it's like a piece of snow i don't know there could have been something else i think or a better looking sled put this in the snow it deserves to go there but let's go on so the next number six here we go i found it number six if i can get it my finger oh, oh yeah number six another minifigure here we go Minifigure. My fingers are so fat, they're gonna cover up the entire speed build. I quite like the snowman, I think he's actually pretty cool. I've never seen him like that before. I like that he has no face on it too. It's just like a plain white snowman who's drinking hot chocolate. That's kind of fun so far. Like I like how they had the plate there. So when you finish building it, you can kind of play with him on the mat. Number seven, here we go. Oh, that sound again. Another minifigure. This one should be simple to build. This is a woman with a snow outfit on. What is she doing? She's going to shovel the snow. There she is. Printing looks fine. I like the scarf around her neck. Got a shovel there. Other than that, the face, everything looks kind of similar to what we've seen before. So there she is. Okay, we'll go to the next number. Number eight. Number eight. Ooh, this one's a bigger build. No. Lots of small little pieces in number eight. What is, the heck is that? No idea what that is so far. Oh, this is totally a drone with a controller and everything. Now this looks more like a drone than the Oxford Block one. If you haven't seen the Oxford Block camping tent, that's actually pretty cool. Very good, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. I think this is actually my favorite drone so far, surprisingly. This one's like the smallest one I've seen. It looks like a drone, very cool indeed. And it's nice that it comes with a little remote control. And let's go to the next number. Next number is nine. What? Oh, look at the sound of that. Here we go, number nine. Very funky looking street map. It looks weird. It looks like it's upside down, but at least it looks Christmassy. Let's go. Next number. 10. Oh, 10, 10, 10. What is this? Oh, the bag was ripped open already. Okay, I'm, I'm seriously not looking at the pictures, right? I've had to guess what this is. It looks like a garden. Okay, let's just build it. What in tarnation? I don't get what this is. I get it. I get it. So you really kind of do have to use, keep these plates, because look, now you can play soccer or football. You like football or you like it being called soccer? Man, I grew up in everywhere, so it both worked for me. Okay, the soccer or football pitch, it's okay. It didn't look like it at first until you saw, I saw the ball. I'm like, oh, okay. If you didn't have the field printing and you didn't have the ball, you'd be looking at these going, what am I building? I have no idea, but okay, soccer nets. What's the next one? 11, here we go, 11. Oh, I actually need toward the box. This one looks like a train. Choo-choo train, it's gotta be a choo-choo train. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. I did it backwards. Two wheels on the train go round and round. Choo-choo, this one goes on the train track. There it is. Train is very simple. Looks more like a futuristic, fast, bullet train looking thing. Next number, how are we doing? Number 12. 12. Oh, this one's a bigger build. This thing has the guns on it. It's like a, a weapon machine. Oh, this is the handle. It's a handle, kids. It's a handle, it's not a gun. There we go. There's the ice cream machine. Ice cream, use cream. We all scream for ice cream. It's just funny how they had the pistols here as the handle that you pull up and down. I thought that was pretty cute. That's actually pretty cool because this one you can actually put inside your empty looking building if you have one. If you don't, we'll put it right here on the plate. Number 13. 13 is another figure. There we go. Another little girl here, glasses, nice hair. 
I like her outfit. I like her necklace, man. It's got a little heart on there. And she's obviously having some strawberry ice cream or even change it to chocolate ice cream. See how good I am? I didn't even have to look at the picture on how to make it. 14, do you guys have your hot chocolate with you? Sit back and relax and enjoy this little tiny build as I rip the sucker open. There we go. Ouch. Ouch. Ah. Ooh. This one looks like it's gonna be present. This is gonna be a present. I can tell already that this will be like a tiny present, right? Am I right? Am I right, right, right? There you go. Presents are okay. They might be good because you put them under your Christmas tree, your Lego Christmas tree. Hey, look at all the spare parts here. And they're like the worst spare parts too. They're ones that you never use. 15, come on. Ah, Christmas tree. See, I'm right. There we go, finally, Christmas tree. Christmas tree looks fine, it's just a very simple tree. But at least you got the presents that you can kind of put around it, so that's kind of a nice touch. All right, so next one is, what is the next one? Are we going that fast? Am I going too slow? What is this? Can you guess what it is? You gotta see. Whoa, this one looks like a Fireplace, is it? I don't know. Dang it, strawberry milkshake sounds really good right now. There's a McDonald's right down the street. My stomach is starting to growl a little bit. Ah, look at that. Stall's cute, small. It's nice, minimized, but it looks like a stall, which is great. 17. Pull it open. There we go. <sighs> minifigure again. As you can see, I'm not a huge minifigure fan. I mean, I do like some of them, but I'm not really a collector of them. But if you like minifigures, that's pretty cool. It comes with quite a lot so far. There's the baker with his cookies. He's gonna go play some soccer, because he can. He's like, I'm gonna stand here and kick some balls around with my cookies. Baker looks totally fine. The Cookie Man, we'll call him the Cookie Man. He looks totally fine. You know, the print on these guys are pretty much flawless. Number 18. This looks like a car, a race car. Look at that, it rolls really good. It has this thing, I think this is like a ramp. Like two ramps so far. Whoa, the truck runs really good on the two wheels. It's pretty smooth. Not my favorite. I think it's one of the weaker ones. There's a couple more weak ones on here. The final few, 19, here we go. Another small build, yay. Find the small build, here we go. Look at these, these are like little bikes. They're like Tron bikes, yeah, they're kind of cool. Each one's got a remote, very small, but at least it looks kind of cool, I guess. Okay, let's just move on to the next one. 20, 20 boys, just a few more. I can knock everything over. Oh, I'm tearing the box itself now. The box is getting so weak. I thought it was like a snowmobile thing. That's actually kind of cool. Yes, it's supposed to be part of the toy section. It's cool, I mean, it's fine, it's okay. I like the colors from that. Look at that, it's all filling up now. It's looking so festive. Okay, let's finish this. We got only a couple more. 21, 21 is here. 21. It's a candy cane clock. 
fun. You know. Interesting, very festive, very Christmassy. Put this by the front door. Candy cane stand with the clock on it. It's a nice touch, nice little decoration to put out on the street. I like the clock, I like how the leaf hangs down behind it. Looks like the Facebook logo, almost a, almost like an S there. 22. Oh, can you guys see that? Tearing the whole thing up now. The box is so weak. Yeah, check out that modular city. It's four floors, it's awesome. It's got these see-through tiles on there. Okay, let's move on. Oh, the wind-up robot. That's it. That's it. The robot's actually a bunch of small pieces, but you know what? Actually, looks kind of cool. I like the robot. And I like that he has a little mini city he can destroy. Two more. Here we go. We're almost done. 23. Pull it out. Kind of complicated, man, even for something so small. Lego, it's supposed to be kid friendly. Yo, check that out. Helicopter is, I mean, it's a helicopter, but it's okay. It's not too bad, it's different. I just wanted something more Christmassy, man. Last one, the final one for the advent calendar. My hands are getting cut up by the box. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Of course, the scent wouldn't be complete without Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus! Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa looks cool as always with a sack. Very nice printing indeed. And here they all are, completely done and put on this cardboard piece that comes with a box. And I actually kind of like it like this, especially if you have kids. This is a great idea. You can always cut that out and you have this nice little decoration. It's pretty cool. So there it is. Lego City theme advent calendar, all 24. And now it should be Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you guys. Until next time, break me out. Ding, ding, ding. Where's the manual, man? Really? Is that why they're showing all the pieces on here? How am I supposed to figure this out? I can't build without the manual. What if I told you there's a 25? There is a 25th, you ready? This is the 25th. You wanna see it? I know you do. Yeah! You forgot this part. This is actually really good, because now you can put them all back in here, or you can put your minifigures, and there you go. And not only that, this could be your sorting cup. Put all your spare parts all inside. Try not to lose these parts, because they're all over the office now. I gotta go pick them up and go get some lunch.